Hello, here's your guide for Tuesday, April 28th. Okay, let's get started with our printing and sight word practice. And let's go down a little bit. Ah, that should work. Okay. Please write neatly and don't forget your finger spaces. Practicing our sight words, we'll read the word trace the letters, and then write the word. So all of these words start with the letter H, and we have has, my friend has a puppy, hot, the sun is hot, him, him means he, like a boy, him, her, hurt, I stubbed my toe and it hurt, how, how are you today? And hold, hold the puppy. Okay, pull out your pen or pencil. Pencil's better because you can erase it. We'll start up here. Has, so we'll trace these letters. Try to do it as nice as you can. Touch the bottom line, touch the middle, touch the bottom. H, A, S, and now a finger space. And same word, H, A, S. Try to touch those lines. Finger space, H, A, S. And same thing for the rest of them, okay? Please remember to write on the lines and put spaces between the words. Has, hot, him, hurt, how, hold. And practice your alphabet. You need to know that for sure. You should be able to read the alphabet starting from any letter. So if I said, finish the alphabet starting from the letter P, you would say P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay? That's how you know you actually know the alphabet. Okay, new digraph today. A digraph is when you put letters together and they make a sound. So today we have the letters E, E, and it sounds like E, like feet or sweep. And we'll do some practice with that. There we go. So let's practice the E sound, like in feet and sweep. E, okay, and pencil again, finger space, touch the middle and bottom line, E, E, finger space, E, E, and please finish that one. And then here, fill in the E words. So they give you the first and last letters and sounds, and you got to put E, E in the middle. I want you to sound these words out. So the first one here, sw, swee, sweep, sweep, f, fee, feet, feet, qu, que, queen, queen, s, e, seed, seed, sl, slee, sleep, sleep, last one, Peel, peel. And then you have a maze. Help the bee get to his honey. Here's the bee. Here's the honey. And then you're going to try to see if you can get there. You can't do that. That's cheating. Okay? Let's do our daily language review. Oh, and by the way, at the end of the video... I'm going to show you on ABC, yeah? We're going to practice our verbs, just like we did nouns last time. We'll do verbs today. It's the same game. We'll pick verbs. Verbs are an action word, like running, walking, reading. It's when you're doing something. And that's just enough. It's almost too big, but it's okay. Daily language review. Correct the sentences, 
number one, number two. There's some mistakes in there. If I underlined it, it means you got to change something. Okay, let's read number one. Me and mom go to the pet store on Saturday. So usually you shouldn't say me and someone. You should, to be polite, you should say mom and I. And instead of goad, we're going to say went. Because we know this happened in the past. It was on Saturday. Mom and I went to the pet store on Saturday. And days of the week always need an uppercase letter. Okay? So here's how you be really polite. You got to say and I. Not me and. It's mom and I. Remember I by itself is uppercased because it's like your name. Mom and I went, not goad, went. Sounds a lot better, right? Mom and I went to the pet store on Saturday. Try to have your letters touching the line to the pet store. You see lowercase p goes under the line to the pet store on Saturday with an uppercase S. Saturday, lowercase y, goes under the line, period. That looks better. Mom and I went to the pet store on Saturday. Sentence number two, I wanted to look at the mouses. That's all good except for mouses. So there's a special word when you're talking about more than one mouse, when it's plural. Because we know it's more than one because they say mouses. It could be two mouses or ten. The special word is mice. That's the plural version. That's how you say more than one mouse. So I wanted to look at the mice. Everything else is fine. I wanted to look at the mice, period. OK, next one. Complete the sentence with the word that tells when something happens. So blank, mom said I could have a pet mouse. OK, and we're looking for when. So is it recently or outside? So recently means not very long ago, and outside means outside, like a place. So the one that means when is recently. So we got to write that word on the blank. Uppercase, it's the start of the sentence. Recently, that means, you know, maybe yesterday, a couple days ago. Recently, mom said I could have a pet mouse. And it's just mouse because it's only one, right? Last one, complete the sentence with the correct word. Today we, blank, going back to the pet store to pick out a mouse. Okay, today we were going back to the pet store, or today we are going back to the pet store. So you would say were if you're talking about the past. And they're not talking about the, ta the past, they're talking about today. They didn't do it yet. So they're actually talking about the future. So today we are going back to the store. They're talking about the future. Today we are going back to the pet store to pick out a mouse. OK, let's move on. Remember, if I'm going too fast, pause the video, rewind. Or if I'm going too slow, or if you already know this, you can fast forward to what you need help with. Okay, I think it's story time. Ah, yes. I am not. Let's see what this one's about. She looks grumpy. Uh-oh. Okay, please read the story and answer the questions. And in this story, you'll see the Ott family, O-T. The digraph, ot, ot, ot. Uh, not, hot, pot. 
Those are all in the art family. Okay, I like to read the questions first and look at the pictures, but let's read the title. First thing, let's read the title. I am not. And let's see, this is a thermometer. And I bet you that's chicken noodle soup. She's got tissues and she's sad. She's probably sick, probably has a cold. So let's look at the questions. You see, without even reading it, we have a good idea what the story is going to be about. Something about a sick little girl, maybe. Number one, what does mom think is wrong with the girl? Number two, what does the girl keep thinking? Number three, how much soup does mom want the girl to have? Okay, that gives us an idea what to look for. Let's read it. You are sick, said mom. I am not. You are hot, said mom. I am not. Have a pot of soup, said mom. I do not want a pot of soup. Have a little, not a lot, said mom. Okay, mom. All right. Question number one, what does mom think is wrong with the girl? What does she think is wrong? You are sick, said mom. You are hot. So she thinks the girl is sick. What does mom think is wrong with the girl? She thinks she is sick. She thinks. She is sick. And she probably is sick. But we're not sure because they didn't say that in the story. Number two, what does the girl keep thinking? You are sick, said mom. You are hot, said mom. I am not. Oh, you are sick, said mom. I am not. You are hot. I am not. Have a pot of soup. I don't want a pot of soup. So she's thinking that she's not sick. What does the girl keep thinking? She's thinking that she's not sick. That she, she's not sick. And maybe she isn't sick. Maybe mom's overreacting. Who knows? Who knows? Number three. How much soup does mom want the girl to have? Oh my. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. La, la, la. La, la, la. Okay, back to business. How much soup does mom want the girl to have? Have a little, not a lot. So how much uh, soup does she want her to have? A little. That's all I got to say. A little. I promise one day we're going to have a video where nobody interrupts us. It's not today, though. Hey. But everyone's busy. Everyone's doing lots of important work. So we can't expect it to be quiet all the time. Okay. Next page. Oh, I lied. Math time. Down here. Now there's some harder questions in here. Like multiplication and division. So if you're watching this video, I'll help you figure those out. Daily math review. And we'll start with question number one. So this is tricky. This is multiplication. Number one, eight times two. So I have eight groups of two. There's lots of different ways to do this. I'll show you it like that. Eight groups of two. So a group of two, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now let's skip count by twos and use the highlighter for this. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 8 times 2 equals 16 because we have 8 groups of 2. Now, next one, 2 times 8. I have 2 groups of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's skip count by eight. So we have eight, 16. Same answer. Okay. So eight times two and two times eight, it's the same question. You'll get the same answer. And that's 16. That's just one way to think about multiplication. There's lots more. Don't worry about it. We're just getting into it. Question number two, 29 take away five. Start in the ones place. Nine take away five. Nine take away one, two, three, four, five. Nine take away five equals four. Two, drop it down. There's nothing under it. 29 take away five is 24. Blank plus five equals 29. This number plus this number is going to equal this number because this is subtraction. And this one is addition, so it's backwards. So we know 24 plus 5 equals 29. Question number three, color 4 out of 8. This is a fraction, 4 out of 8. So we have 8 boxes here, and we want to color 4 of them. So I would probably do it like this. Or you could do the top four, but try to make it one group of four. Okay? So four is colored, and four boxes are not. And it looks like half of them, right? Because it is half. Four out of eight equals half. Or maybe you've seen it like this, 50%. Pretty cool, huh? Fractions are really cool. We'll do more practice with those. We're just getting into it. Okay, question four up here. Seven tens and four ones. Seven tens, four ones, seven, four, 74. Nine tens and zero ones. Nine tens, zero ones, 90. Question five, word question. Evan bought two cookies that cost 10 cents each. He gave the clerk a quarter. How much money did Evan get back? Show your work. So 5, 10, 15, or 20 cents. So let's get the key stuff here. Evan bought two cookies that cost 10 cents each. He gave the clerk a quarter. How much does he get back? OK. So first things first, let's figure out how much money he spent. So two cookies times 10 cents each. For this one, we'll just add. Uh, so he bought one cookie for 10 cents, and he bought another cookie. Remember, he bought two cookies. So he spent 20 cents. That means cents, like pennies. No, there's not pennies anymore, but you know. He gave the clerk a quarter. A quarter equals 25 cents. So he spent 25, or he spent 20, and he paid 25. So we should do subtraction. He gave a quarter, but he only bought 20 cents of stuff. So the cashier will give him how much? 5 take away 0 equals 5. 2 take away 2 is 0. Leave it blank. So... The cashier owes him five cents. Okay. Let's move on to the bottom one here. We'll zoom in. And get rid of that. Mm -hmm. It snowed yesterday. That was surprising. My puppy loves it. And it was pretty nice, actually. Nice and cool. And that's good. Okay. Question one. Five plus eight plus six. If you can do this in your head, that's perfect. If you can't, try this one out. So five plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen. But we still have six to go. Five or five plus eight plus six plus one, two, three, four, five, six. 5 plus 8 plus 6 equals 19. 
Number two, three times blank equals nine. So three groups of what will equal nine? Let's say I have three groups of two, okay? So let's count it. You got two, four, six, that's not enough. So let's add one more to each group. So now there are groups of three. Let's count those again, but now we're counting by threes. Three, six, nine. So three times three equals nine. Three groups of three equals nine. Now here's division, something new. And let me just explain this. So nine divided by three. I have nine toys and I'm going to divide it into three groups. There's three friends and I have nine toys. I'm going to make sure they all get the same amount. So division is kind of the opposite of multiplication. So nine divided by three. Let's have a one group of nine here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we want to cut that into three groups. And they have to be the same size. OK. There's one group. There's two groups. There's three groups. I had nine. And I divided it into one, two, three groups. And they each have the same. Each one has three. So nine divided by three equals three. Okay. I had nine. I started with nine and then I divided it into three groups. Okay. Don't worry too much about that right now. I just want to kind of put that in your brain for later. I promise you will learn multiplication and division in time. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why I erased that. Oopsie. I actually want to leave that so you can look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I started with a group of nine, and then I'm going to divide it into one, two, three groups. Okay, that's division. Number three, circle the ways to make 12. So we want to make 12. So four plus eight. Your number line could help you here. Maybe you know how to do it in your head. So 4 plus 8, 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That does make 12, so we'll circle it. 6 plus 6, 6 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That one makes 12. 13 take away 4. 13 take away 1, 2, 3, 4. No, that's not 12. 5 plus 9. I think we just know that's not going to be 12. We don't even have to check. 4 times 3. So we've got multiplication again. And this time, I want you to think of multiplication like this. I'm going to skip count by 4. Skip count by 4 three times. So 4, 8, 12. Yes, 4 times 3 equals 12. Same thing here. Skip count by 2 six times. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. And you could have done that backwards. Instead of skip counting by 2 six times, why don't I start with a bigger number? I'll skip count by 6 two times. 6, 12. Okay? If you're not understanding multiplication yet, don't worry about it. Just a little bit at a time. Next question, number four. Write the missing numbers. 116 blank blank, 119 blank blank. Okay. So 116, 119, and there's two blanks in the middle. What comes after 116? Let's just go up by one. 117, 118, 119. So it's just going up by one. What's after 119? 120, 
121. Okay. If you could just look at that when it was blank and you knew it was one, then that's great. That's how you know that you understand patterns. Question number five, Alexa and her parents went on a sailing vacation. It was sunny nine days of the trip, foggy two days, and stormy three days. How many days were they on vacation? Ah, so they're trying to trick you here. They're giving you lots of information that's not important for the question. So let's actually get rid of the stuff we don't need. So Alex and her parents went on a sailing vacation. That doesn't help us with our math. We don't need to know that sentence. It was sunny nine days of the trip. So they're not asking us about the weather. They're asking us how long they went. So nine days of the trip. We don't need to know that. Foggy, doesn't matter. Two days and stormy, three days. How many days were they on vacation? So what I circled there, that's the important stuff. Let's just add it up and it'll tell us. Nine plus, let's, we'll go biggest to smallest, okay? Nine plus three plus two. Let's see if we can count this without using the number line. So nine plus three, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then 12 plus two, 13, 14. Okay, nine plus three plus two equals 14. They were on vacation for 14 days. And you see how much stuff in this question wasn't important? They were trying to trick you. So when you do a word question, always find out what's the important stuff and what's the stuff I don't need to worry about. Okay. If we have one more page and then we'll do ABC, yeah, and then we're done. Okay, adding three digit numbers. We've done this before. It might look big and confusing, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Adding three digit numbers. I did the first one for you. So 234 plus 152. And we're practicing our place value to hundreds place, tens, and ones. So the first number, 234, we had a two in the hundreds place, so that's 200. Three in the tens is 30. Four in the ones is four, plus 152, 150. Two, and then you add it, always start in the ones place. So four plus two equals six, 30 plus 50. So zero plus zero equals zero, three plus five equals eight. So 80, zero plus zero equals zero, zero plus zero equals zero, two plus one equals three. And then the sum, the total number, the answer to the question, 386. And I didn't have to add those ones. I just have to think about place value. So I have a three in the hundreds place, an eight in the tens place, and a six in the ones place. Okay, let's do that again with a new question. So 352 plus 425. So 300, this three, plus 50 plus 2 and then plus 4 is it just 4 it's in the hundreds place so it's 400 and is it just a 2 it's in the tens place so it's a 20 and then 5 is a 5 because it's in the ones place now we'll add it starting in the ones 2 plus 5 equals 7 0 plus 0 equals 0, 5 plus 2 equals 7, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 3 plus 4 equals 7. Now same thing, I'm going to write 7 in the hundreds place, 7 in the tens place, 
7 in the 1s. So the sum is 777. I'm going to do two more really quick, and I'll leave the bottom ones blank for you to do by yourselves, okay? And I'm just going to show you how I can do this just in my brain. I don't have to think about it too much because I practiced. So 632, 632 plus 245, 245, 2 plus 5 is 7, 30 plus 40 is 70, 600 plus 200 is 800. The sum is 877. 215, 210, and 5. 683, 683, 5 plus 3 equals 8, 10 plus 80 equals 90, 200 plus 600 is 800, 898, okay? I want you to do the final two by yourselves, okay? If you're confused, just rewind the video and watch what I did again. Just remember it's place value practicing your adding and your place value and always start in the ones place okay good work I want to go back to ABC yeah on the same game we played before instead of nouns we're gonna do verbs okay so you go to ABC yeah.com click on grade 3 and this is a word game, so it's in the red part. And this guy here, Ice Cream Talk with the green monster. Click on that. And play. Ice Cream Talk, nouns and verbs. Oh my. Oh my, so loud. <laughs> OK, I'll turn that off. OK, nouns and verbs. So we did nouns last time. Remember, a noun, a person, place, thing, or idea, an animal. So some examples of nouns would be grandma, sister, dog, uh, Edmonton, Pizza Hut. Okay, those are nouns. This time we're going to do verbs, and this means an action. Something is happening. So walking, sleeping reading, throwing, those are examples of verbs, okay? And if we get good at this, we might do nouns and verbs at the same time. But today, verbs, action words, actions. Click on this and then click play. Help the monkey collect 10 scoops of ice cream before the monster. Collect the ice cream by finding the nouns and verbs the sentences. Remember, we only want verbs. Susanna has a cat and a dog. So Susanna, cat, and dog are nouns. Susanna has, because she's hers, her pets. Next one, a trip to buy lemonade makes Lisa happy. So lemonade and Lisa are nouns, but a trip, that means they're going there, right? To get something, so a trip. Ooh, see if we get it wrong, the monster gets one. What about buy? When you give someone money, that's an action, right? A trip to buy lemonade makes Lisa happy makes so we got to be careful we don't want this guy to win right remember verbs we want action words customers wait for the waitress to bring food so waiting for something that's an action you're doing something customers wait for the waitress to bring food her bringing something she's doing something right Last night, Sophie ate pasta with meatballs. Eight. She's, is, it's an action, right? Moving the fork, eating the food. So eight is a verb. 
trick or treating occurs on Halloween night. So trick or treating is an action. You're moving around, knocking on doors, getting candy. What? Trick or treating occurs on Halloween night. Occurs. I got tricked. Maybe we need more practice with our verbs. We're still beating this guy, though. Ian visits his grandmother every weekend. So what's the action word? Is grandmother an action? Can you do grandmother? No, but you can visit your grandmother. So that's a verb. Lauren and Heather are twins. So Lauren, Heather, no, those are people. They're not actions. And twins, that's not an action. I think R is the only one that makes sense. Let's see if I'm wrong. Whew, close one. My brother watches television. What's something that you can actually do? Can you do TV? No, but you can watch TV. Okay, we had a couple mistakes. I think maybe we should come back and practice more with the verbs later. Not bad though. So we got 10 scoops. But the monster got some to tap the arrow to try again. Sorry about that. Drop the microphone. So we see we got two wrong. But we got a lot right. Now we can play the bonus game. Oh, you only get the bonus game if you get all the answers right. I see. Should we try again? No. But let's play one more game. Okay. I like these word games. So we're going to stick into this part. We've done pancake. We've done monster. Let's see. Uh, pinata party contraction action. Oh, so a contraction like the word don't. That's do not. You put those two words together. Do not squish it together. Don't. I haven't done this one. Let's try. We'll do a practice. Ah, why is which. Uh, if you make this a contraction with an apostrophe, what's it going to look like? Why is? Why's. Why apostrophe s. Huh? Oh, you got to flick it. Cool. There would. There would. There would. There'd. Vared. Oh, that wasn't fair. I wasn't aiming for that. Okay. Let's do two more. I have, I've, I have, uh, I've. This is a cool one. You should try this. Be careful with the ball. It bounces off the walls. Last one. When had, when had, when, who had. When had, when, that's not one you see very often, but it is a contraction. We will, we'll, we will, we'll, we will. No! Okay, I think you get the idea. So this one, contraction, what's it called? Where'd it go? Am I blind? I can't see it. I want you, to, yes, right here. I want you to try this one. Contraction action. This one here and ice cream talk. And I think we'll come back to this one again. Verbs can be a little confusing. I had a couple mistakes there too. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for doing your homework. Remember to drink water, get rest, get some fresh air, and take care of yourself. Au revoir.